respected teachers and other dignitaries and my dear fellow students assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh namaste sasriya kal i am abru bilal student of 10th standard from bombay high school representing jnk i wish you a very very good afternoon to all of you present here today on the occasion of national science seminar 2023 we are going like to present my views on topic millet a superfood or a diet fad as we all know that india has declared the year 2018 as a national year of millet to promote millet for nutrition security india has also sent a proposal to united nation for declaring 2023 as a year of millet and accordingly 72 countries support indian proposal for celebrating 2023 as a international year of millet it represents a significant step forward promoting sustainable agriculture and improving food security challenges at a global scale millet often referred to as an ancient green and have an integral part of human diet for thousands of years millet are significantly come back in modern diet millet are nutritionally powerhouse packed with essential nutrients they are rich in dietary fiber which aids in digestion and regulate blood sugar level which reduces the risk of diabetes additionally millet are a good source of vitamin mineral like iron magnesium phosphorus and much more these nutrients play vital role including bone health energy metabolism and immune function one of the standout feature of millet is naturally they are gluten free and making suitable for individuals with gluten sensitivity or celiac disease that's why growing awareness and popularity of millet their production and consumption is still limited there are several challenges that need to be addressed one of the significant challenges lack of awareness and knowledge about millet among farmers among consumers millet are known as fusion crop due to their resistance to climate change thus make an available crop for small scale farmers now the question arises here what is the status of millet in jnk ut well the jnk administration has set a target to revive the traditional millet crops on 8000 hectares of land this process will will begin by providing free subsidy varieties to the farmers with 10% subsidy in 10 districts of the jammu division in jammu division the agriculture department has a market 1400 hectares of land for product production of millet because it is a high value crop and its export demand is very high jnk government is also promoting millet based restaurants and providing rupees 2 lakh subsidy to them for introducing millet based food the age of millet plant is vary from 60 to 90 days depending upon growing condition and cultivation practices types of millet there are several types of millet like pearl millet bajra finger millet ragi sorghum jowar In conclusion, millet can rightfully characterized as much as superfood or dietary food. Superfood in terms of their high nutrition content, dietary food in terms of their low calories content and high fiber compositions. Slide, sir. Protein around 12.5% then phosphate 
It don't require so many pesticides and